Hello, uh, my name is Brendan O'Farrell. I'm the president and founding partner of DCN Diagnostics. And I'm Pat Vaughan. I'm the chief operating officer here at DCN and I run all the, our development programs. So in terms of performance, uh, I guess we, we think about two different axes in, in, in diagnostics, right? So there's uh, diagnostic accuracy and then there's deployability. So, uh, you know, it's something like a, an, a central laboratory-based RT-PCR assay, which is primarily what's being used right now for uh, coronavirus testing. You know, it's, it's high on the diagnostic accuracy scale now, um, but it's not at all deployable. So it sits over here on the spectrum. When people talk about lateral flow assays or point of care diagnostics or rapid tests, uh, they're very deployable. They don't need infrastructure. They don't need trained people to operate them. They're very low cost, um, and so they can be moved out of the central laboratory environment into the home or into the field very effectively. People tend to think that they are not that diagnostically accurate, but that actually is, is not true. Uh, a HIV test, for instance, is 99.1% or better in terms of, of, of its, its clinical diagnostic accuracy. Um, and historically, you know, this is an old technology. Some of the earlier uh, forays into diagnostic testing using lateral flow perhaps weren't as successful as some of the, of, of the latter ones. But over the course of the last 10 years, certainly the industry has made a tremendous effort to push the, the, the technology from a performance standpoint and from a usability standpoint to the point where it is every bit as accurate in most scenarios as a clinical uh, laboratory based test. You know, you, you spoke about the, the ecosystem for, for lateral flow tests as well. So, you know, it, it's clear over the last um, decade, maybe or more, um, everybody that partakes in that ecosystem has done tremendous work to improve the quality of the reagents and materials that we use. So, you know, materials have improved, reagents have improved, our ability as developers has improved as well. So we've come up with new techniques um, um, and, you know, new know-how, especially here at, uh, at uh, DCN, where we can uh, develop very accurate uh, and highly quantitative tests as well in the lateral flow format. Yeah, and I think one of, one of the things, one of the really amazing things that we've seen over the course of the last few weeks as this situation has evolved is just how well and how quickly that ecosystem is pulling together. You know, the, the antibody developers have been right on it. Uh, there are good quality antibodies coming through very, very quickly. The networking amongst the manufacturers, the materials suppliers, the assay developers, the regulators has been incredibly good. Uh, and a lot of it is being stimulated by, you know, the NGOs and organizations like Gates Foundation and FIND and PATH, um, as well as WHO and CDC and NIH. Uh, it's, it's, there's been a just a tremendous response within the industry. And there is, as a result, will be a very rapid deployment of high quality uh, point of care tests very, very quickly.